And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. All right, welcome to the Dice Tower. Today we're taking a look at, how do you say that? Equilogic? Equilogic or Equilogic or who knows. But this is a game, it's actually not a game as much as it is a solitaire puzzle in which, well you can play a game actually, it's, it's one to three players. You can play where you're all trying to put pieces in. But let's just put that aside for now. That's possible to do, but essentially it's a puzzle. Let me show you how this kind of puzzle works and we'll be right back. <laughs> What you're going to do is select a puzzle, and there's several puzzles included in the game, and each puzzle has a ranking on the side to show how difficult these puzzles are. Although I would say that, I mean, really, none of them are extremely easy. Each puzzle has some restrictions. Now, let me explain what you're trying to do. First of all, you're trying to make a magic number. The magic number, it means that all three rows and columns, this column adds to the same number as this column, as does this column, as is this row, this row, this row, and the two diagonals. So it's important that all um, eight of those equal the same number. This magic number will always be triple whatever number is in the middle. So if this middle number is eight, for example, then the magic number is going to be 24. If it shows specific numbers and colors, this means an orange three goes here. This means a green 13. This means a number in a circle goes here. So see, for example, this circled number can go there. And up here, this one shows that a, one in a diamond goes there. Other rules are and it, that when you make a row or a column, there must be one of each color in it. So yellow, orange, green. And then yellow, green, orange, yellow, or whatever. As long, There can never be the same colors in a row or column. It doesn't matter diagonally, but it does matter. And here, it shows a, that a shape of two goes here. So. I would have to put a shape of two there, although this 1718 would not fit there because the 18 is not yellow and there needs to be a yellow. So that's basically how it works. There's matching colors. Now, as for tiles, look how many come in the game. There's a whole pile of double tiles up here. There's a bunch of single tiles and a couple triple tiles that are shaped like L's. Now, notice there's not every color does not have all three numbers. So, I mean, every, every number does not have all three colors. So, you notice there's only a one orange. And then there's a two in orange and green. And then there's a three in orange and green. And then four is in all three colors, etc. So, what you're trying to do is you're trying to do a puzzle and solve that puzzle. So, let's take a look at a simple puzzle here or a simple-ish puzzle. This one here starts with a number in the middle. So, I know that the magic number is 18. I also know that that middle one is a double, then with the top number being six. There's only two that fit that category. So I can use the six and eight or the six and seven. So let's say I use the six and the eight. Now, since I've done that, I know that eight plus eight is 16. And since the magic number is 18, that means this number here must be a two. Now that two has to be orange or green. So I'm just going to guess for now because I'm going to look at this 8 and there's only an 8 in yellow and an 8 in green. So since this is yellow, this 8 has to be green, which makes this one have to be orange and an orange 2. So now I have 18 one way. Now to get 18 up here, I'm going to have 2 plus 6 is 8. So this would have to be a 10. Now that's problematic because this one also has to be 18 and I don't have a single 0. So because of all that, I can reason that this number does not fit in there and I needed to be using this number instead. Now, instead of having a two, I need to put a three there. So eight plus seven uh, plus three. So my three is orange and green. I already have an orange, so I put the green here. And now this means this one is yellow. So now I have my bottom row. Eight plus six is 14. Over here, that means I would need a four to finish it off. I have a four in all three colors, so I don't know which one for now. So I'll just put a four of, uh, of uh, orange, just a, for a placeholder. This is three plus six is nine. Nine from 18 is another nine. And I only have nine in green and yellow, so I'll put another green there. Nine plus eight is 17, which means a one goes here. So I put a one there. 
1 plus 6 is 7, so this must need to be an 11. Do I have an 11 in yellow? I do. And then 4 plus 9 is 13. 13 from 18 is 5, so I need a 5 yellow. So now I check everything. 18, 18, uh, 15, 18, 18, 18, 14, 18, 18, 18. Green, yellow, orange, orange, green, yellow, yellow, orange, green, orange, yellow, green, yellow, green, orange, green, orange, yellow. Everything matches. I have solved this one. And that's how you do one of them. I won't show you any more. There's a whole book of solutions that you should not look at, you cheater, cheater. Because, you know, just you, you have a way to solve everything. You can just keep putting down numbers until you get it done. Now, I've always liked the aspect of a magic square, especially when you have really big magic squares. I'm really bad at creating magic squares. This game has magic squares created for you. I really enjoy putting the pieces in. When I sat down and tried to solve these, I really got a kick out of it because I liked how there was the colors mixed with the center number. It really made me think. I mean, this really pushed my limits, but it was possible to figure out, I thought, through logic and other means. I mean, through trial and error sometimes, putting a piece in on that piece doesn't work. But I thought it was a very interesting puzzle. What did you think? Um, I thought it was kind of hard because um, I'm good at math, but not this good because I kept getting confused. Like I would put one color there, but then I found that out that that color should be somewhere else. And it got really, really confusing after a while. You did solve one though, right? Yeah, and I'm going to continue to make her solve these because I think it's a, something that really expands... Uh, your brain, it really makes you think you have to be able to add uh, a lot. You know, sometimes the magic number is 52 or, or I'm sorry, 52 is not, uh, uh, 51 or something, you know, to that effect. And so Melody was using pen and paper sometimes to figure things out, but it also makes you mentally think, is 17 plus 18 plus 6, you know, what is that, you know, what's 52 minus 15? And, and that's a really good thing. But at the same time, I thought it was a very solid puzzle. Really interesting because you're mixing colors, shapes, uh, shapes of the pieces themselves, plus the numbers themselves. So I'm going to give this one very high ranking. I, I thought very highly of it, and whether you think highly of it or not, you're going to well, probably... I did like because it, it did help me get better at adding and subtracting. Okay, well, good. Well, like I said, you're going you're gonna to keep doing them. And, you know, I'm going to have all my kids eventually work on these. It's, it's certainly, Melody's probably at the lower end. It says age nine and up. And yeah, a nine-year-old could do this. But come on, let's be honest. It's more for people who you have to do a lot of thinking about how the numbers and colors match together. Probably 12 and up would be a better age thing. But still, a pretty cool logic game. Final, final rating, a thumbs up. Also for me, equal logic. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. Shut that door! Yeah. Boo! Mm -hmm.